hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this cute dress and fascinator if this is your first time here you're highly welcome my name is marty this video is divided into three parts do well to watch it and feel free to ask me any question in the comment section i'll be glad to answer you so to make this dress this is the measurement you need you need your half length shoulder measurement your armhole bust waist neck width neck depth shoulder to knee skirt length that is from the waist to where you want the length to get to i want a length of 24 so i've subtracted nine from it which is 15. so the skirt length i'm using is 15. and for this project i'm using one yard of lining i will be padding the top of the dress with light st this is the fabric. This is just a shining satin. It's a very light satin. I'll be using this for the top of the dress. And this is the lace I'm using. The lace is two in three yards and seven inches. And I'll be using a zipper for the back of the dress. So for the armhole, I'm using 5.5 because I want it opened. I don't want it too tight because she's going to be putting on a long sleeve before she wear the gown because we live in a very cold environment so guys i'm very sorry i lost this clip so i'm just going to be illustrating with paper after then you continue watching the video so i'm just going to record like illustrate the parts that was missing in the clip so this is my starting point i'm just going to rule a starting point it's always good to leave like one inch before you start um start measuring because from that one inch you're going to take your shoulder and your neck allowance so what i did was the half length is nine inches half length is nine inches so just come down and give one inch seam allowance making 10 i'm going to rule it out rule out 10 inches so after the 10 inches the next thing we will insert is the shoulder measurement and the shoulder is 9.5 half of 9.5 yeah. the easiest way to know your measurements like maybe they say nine three quarter and the rest is just, get your tape this is nine and a half just fold it into two it's going to give you the exact half measurement you see this is 4.75 you're just going to insert it here you have to mark it and then the armhole is 5.5 so i'm going to drop down by 5.5 5.5 and then i'll rule a straight line on this 5.5 this will be our chest line this 5.5 this is where so now this is our chest line on our chest line we're going to take the measurements the chest line which is the boss is 23 and the easiest way to know um divide 23 into four because this is half of the front then we'll use the front to cut the back so now we're going to get our tape and look for 23 this is the easiest way if you don't have a calculator you see half of 23 is 11 and a half so now because we are dividing into four we have to get half of that 11 and a half so just put your tape again and mark it it's going to give you just insert this measurement there so now i'm going to insert this measurement mark it i'm going to add one inch seam allowance you can add two if you like i usually like to add two most times for kids because they grow very fast so you don't want to be spending your money all the time buying new clothes for them so the waist is 22 half of 23 is 11 half of 11 is five and a half but if you don't know you can follow that um, um procedure that i just showed so you're going to insert five and a half here for the waist this is the waist and then you're going to add the one inch seam allowance and then you will connect the two lines connect both lines together and then we have our our um measurement for the shoulder the half length for the armhole i think you will see it in the video all you need to do is come down by half an inch 
first of all, you measure the neck width. The neck width is 2.75. This is 2.5 here. So obviously, this is 2.75. I'll go to about 2.75 here. And then I'm going to connect 2.75 to this point. Connect both points. You know, because the shoulder is slant. Our shoulder is normally slant. And then the neck depth too is also 2.75. I'm going to go down back 2.75. And then you're going to take your curve and curve both lines together. And we have our neck, the front neckline now. So for the armhole, I'm going to find the midpoint of what we have left is 5 inches. The midpoint is five, two and a half. I'm going to come in half or quarter of an inch. And then you will curve these three points. This one, this one, and this point together. You're going to curve them. can see that we have our ammo curve but if you are cutting the back you don't have to come in with quarter of an inch if you are cutting the back all you need to do is just connect this point to this point connect the two points together if if it's the back armhole now this will be the this is what we will be tracing this is what the back should be like this will be the back and this is the front after that we're going to insert the waist measurements the waist is 22 half of 22 is 11 half of 11 is five and a half yeah add your one inch in allowance then you're going to trace it down so now you're going to look for your neck width 2.75 and the neck depth I'm using is 3 inches I'm just going to curve those two points together I'm going to measure 3 inches So the shoulder, I'm going to come down by half an inch. I'm going to twist it up. So now I'm going to measure from here to here and look for the midpoint. The midpoint is two and a half because this is five inches. Two and a half, this is the midpoint. I'm going to come inside with half an inch. Now I'm going to join this point to this point to this point. I'm first of all join this two. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take allowance, our sewing allowance around the neckline and the shoulder. We're going to take half an inch round. And just join the lines together. So once you are done doing that, you will cut it. So 
So we have the front bodies. We're going to cut out the back bodies now. I'm going to use the front bodies to cut out the back. I already measured one inch for my zipper allowance. So now I'm going to measure out the shoulder and the back. The back I'll be making the neck one and a half, not three inches. I'm just going to join it. And then I'm going to look for I'm going to drop down by half an inch, look for the midpoint and come back outside. Going to come out by quarter in sorry half an inch i'm not covering the the back inside that's the difference between the front and the back So now I'm going to use this pattern to cut out the satin fabric and the breast pad. So I'm going ahead to cut the, I'm done cutting the upper part and I've even cut out the stay. So what I'm going, and I iron the stay on the lining. What I'm going to do, I'll just use it to turn it out. Just so like so. This is the back about this. I'm going to sew it like this, sew the neckline, the armhole, but I won't be sewing the, the back. I'll just, the bottom I mean, I'll turn it out. I'll do the same for the front bodies. Going to sew it round and then I'll turn it out. So, I'm going to cut it down. So the length I'm using for the down is, let me see, 15 inches. I'm going to measure 15 inches. That's here. I'm going to add 15, I'm going to add 3 inches in allowance. I'm going to use half to add it and then I use the remaining two and a half to roll the bottom. So the bottom I'll just gather it up. That's what I'll be doing for the bottom. So this is the lining. This is one yard like the the, the width of the lining. Sorry guys, let me just measure it. Okay, the width is um let me say 30, it's like 60 inches, and then the length length is 15 inches. So I'm going to gather this one too to turn it out. What I'll be doing, I'll cut out this net. I'll cut out six inches. Into three places. This is just going to give the down extra puffiness. Going to make it really ball this net. Yeah. 
so I'm just going to that's how it after sewing the bottom I'll be sewing the bottom like like this and then I'm going to leave like one inch and I'll print this on top of it please or gather it I'll do it for the whole 60 inches width and I'll be back So I've gone ahead to join the front. Let me just open this. So after sewing and turning out, I joined the shoulder, joined the side, did the gathers for this one, and then I pleated that net on top of it for the lining. I've also gone ahead to do gathers for the down parts. What I'll be doing next is I'll be looking for the center. Just do this. I'll mark it. I already marked this one. So I'm going to put it like so. Secure it with pin. Sew it round to the zipper line. When you are putting the gathers, you make sure that the gathers. It's exactly the same length with the bodies. I'm just going to sew it like this. After sewing it, I'll come back and show you guys. So, I'm going to have to attach it down to the up. The down is even bulky enough. You can choose to leave it like this if you don't have extra lining. So what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and close this zipper line up to this extent. Because if you're making a gown for a baby, you have to leave space to zip, leave a space after the joining so that you can wear the baby from their leg, you can wear it from down, it will go in, they will go into it freely. So after fixing my zip, I'll come back and show you how I'm going to attach this bottom lining. So I've gone ahead to put a zipper. You can see our dress is almost ready. I'm just turn it like this so you can see the zipper. I fixed it like an invisible zipper. So next we're going to take this one. We're going to make sure that this net is resting on the fabric. It's facing the fabric. So this is the part that will be touching the child's skin. So what we're going to do, we're going to look for the midpoint, the middle of this one. This is the middle. Not it. So we're not just going to press it on this middle like this. No. I'm going to flip it over like so. And then we'll sew. We're going to sew it round up to that zipper. When you get to this point, you are going to be, anyway, we are going to close it. So that after sewing it, it's going to be like this. This side is going to come out. So you are not going to see any rough edge. Before we sew it round like that, I will first of all close it now. I am going to close it. I will close it up to this extent. I'm not going to close it completely up to this place, and then I will just split the remaining net there after closing it. So when I'm sewing, I'm going to sew it like this, and then we'll be done with the sewing of the dress. So we are done making the dress. I'm just going to show you the inside. Next one looks like this is the opening, this is the front. So, next, we're going to make the bow for the back.
you see that the net is actually touching this one no it won't be touching the child at all so to make the bowl i'm going to be putting crinoline line inside to give it that bounce this is the width the width of the crinoline line is six and a half so what i'm going to do let me get my fabric that's the wideness of the the bow now i'm going to measure how wide i want the the bow to be at the back so i'm going to make it eight inches it's going to get to this extent it's going to be big eight inches so i'm going to put this fabric on fold measure six and a half plus half each same allowance i'm going to sew it like like this making seven inches and then it's eight inches eight inches eight times two sixteen because I'm going to sew it long and then bend it at the back 16 so i will be needing probably 17 inches because i'm going to sew it like this after sewing it straight i'm going to close it like this before i'll gather the middle but i'm just going to get excess i'll probably measure 19 inches for the length of the bow let me first of all cut out the the width seven inches So I will go over to the machine and just stitch it like this and I will be back. I've gone ahead to sew it, that straight line. So it so turn it out. I will fix in this crinoline. line. to stitch it here so the crinoline line doesn't come out stitch it there stitch it here and they're going to join the both of them together and turn the front out so let me go and stitch that place and come back to show you so i'm done joining it see so you just turn it over like this and then now you just try and look for the middle can bend it like this so you find the middle so for the middle you take your needle and sew straight to tack it at the back and then you can cut it so now we're going to put something in the middle here 